guys. Start of the new week. I know it's still locked down, but uh, looks like things are going to get better shortly. Uh, hopefully, anyway. Well, at least the weather is nice, so at least we can enjoy it when we get outside. But today we have three rounds of three one minute arm wraps and some strength or technique work there for today. So, what we're going to do is start with the warm up. We're going to take yourself a lightweight, whether it's a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or whatever you have, and I want 10 strict presses each side. Yeah? So, 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Then, what we need to do is 30 seconds of calf raises. So, feet straight forward, neutral. Let me switch that back to the other better. Yeah, all the way up there. Do 30 seconds of that. You're then going to take your kettlebell, dumbbell, or whatever weight you have, and run through some swings. So, 15 swings. If, like me, you're doing single arm, do 10 each side. Yeah. Then, what you do is you are going to take your kettlebell. Ideally, if you've got a kettlebell, this will be better. But if not, it's not an issue. And you do halos. Yeah. And you do five each way of them. Then we're going to do 10 Kang squats. Now, Kang squats are the good morning first. So, side on the knee, hinge forward, then down into the squat. Back up the same way. Yeah, and then you're going to do 30 seconds standing straddle. So, nice wide in the feet, spread on what space you've got. Lean yourself forward, feel that stretch down the back of the hamstrings. Get your hands as close to the floor as you can. If that's comfortable, get lower and lower and lower. Keep the legs locked right back. Right, so, in the workouts today, strength slash technique section is hand power cleans, or power cleans as well, further up the scale. If you've got a barbell, brilliant. Practice this one, work on some weights. It's obviously been a while since we have done. If you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can still do your cleans. It's a good time to practice the extension and the turnover. So, what I'll do is I'm going to take my dumbbell. So, I'm going to hinge forward as I would in a hand power clean or a kettlebell swing. Yeah, and I'm going to extend through the back, up at the toes. Yeah, so you can see the elbow comes up nice and tight, and we catch in that dip position. It will be exactly the same with a barbell. The thing we're looking for now is to get this elbow as far forward as we can to practice getting into that front row position. So have a look at your level on there, depending on what you've got. If you've only got a dumbbell, obviously you're going to do it on both sides. If you've only got a kettlebell, same thing. If you've got a bag or a ball, you can practice cleans that way. So let's practice with the slam ball here for you. So I can still hinge forward and still practice those cleans with that as well. Right then, work out there. Three. One minute and wraps with a one minute rest in between and three rounds of that. Yeah, bit of a mouthful. So, what we'll start off with first is Russian swings or hand power cleans. So, this always depends on your equipment. Yeah, so your Russian swings. What we'll do if you're doing obviously a minute, try 30 seconds each hand or as and when you get tired. So, do a minute of that. Mark down your reps. Then you're going to go into your variation of a hollow hold, whether that is a dead book. Dead book there. Single leg hollow, full hollow, or the two top levels, L sits. So I know some of you have done them before. Hands on the floor, push through, get them locked, core nice and tight, legs in the backside off the floor. So it will be up to a minute in there. And what you're looking for is to hold it for as long as you can. Now don't sit there in a hollow hold and just be flopping. If you need to rest, come out of it, rest and come back in. And take your accumulated amount of seconds, worked as reps for that one. Yeah, so if you work for 45 seconds and you have 15 seconds rest in there, you'll put 45 down. Right, and the last one is either front step lunges, so just with body weight, yeah, Alternate that leg. Yeah. That's perfect. 
if you want to, or depending on the level you're using, you want to get a weight in there, you can front rack it. So there are two dumbbells, either like this, or, also you've got to alternate those legs as you go. Squat today is your total amount of reps. Remember, you'll do swings, rest, hollow, rest, lunge, rest, and you'll repeat that three times in total. So you'll do nine arm wraps. Right, guys, enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy that sun as well. Don't let it go to waste. See ya.